Here are my favorite principles of learning, ideas that will help you to acquire a skill in the fastest and the most efficient way. First of all, take massive action. Learning without doing is like reading books about bodybuilding without ever going to the gym. Your knowledge about the subject is like a map that shows you how to get to the goal. Action is actually moving forward and walking away towards it. Find the minimum of necessary knowledge to be able to start acting and then act. Don't procrastinate by reading tons of books before you start. You will learn all the information that you need along the way. So, come up with a practical challenge, figure out the first little steps that you need to take and then take it. If you are reading information for a good practical reason, you will learn it so much faster. This is the main force behind the progress. This is the source of real experience. Second and equally important principle is deliberate practice. Deliberate practice means constantly pushing forward by setting challenges that are a little bit above your current level of abilities and solving them instead of just going through the repetitive motion. Deliberate practice is your efficiency multiplier. If your advice is good at deliberate practice, you can learn the same thing in one half of the time. Understand what you do. Don't rely on your subconsciousness to get better at things just by manually doing them over and over again. Simple repetitions won't make you better. Practice doesn't make perfect, practice makes permanent. Perfect practice makes perfect. Make progress and implement new skills by rational understanding of how and what you are doing. And then try and do it on practice to make sure that you got it right. Only after that you can rely on repetition to automate new skills so that you could do them without thinking and your mind would be free to focus on understanding a more advanced concept. Cultivate your passion. Enjoying what you do is crucial. You need to love what you do to get really good. It is not optional. If you don't love what you do, you are doing it wrong. Getting mastery at anything is a long process. It's a marathon, not a sprint. And you won't get too far by relying only on your willpower. They say that you need 10,000 hours or 10 years of practice to become a pro. Nobody can put so much effort into something that does not bring you joy. And also, life is too short to do things that you don't like. But, if you don't feel a strong passion now, don't worry. Passion is not a pre-existing quality that you either have or you don't. It is something that you can consciously learn and develop, so look for ways to do that. Learn to get in the flow. Flow is a state of being completely immersed in what you're doing. When you are in the flow, you are focused, present and extremely efficient. It is a pretty big topic, so I have made the article and video about it. You can find the link in the description. Learn inner game. Every activity has the outer game, things that you do physically, your technical skills and inner game, your attitudes towards what you do, your mindset, everything that happens in your head. Inner game is equally important, so learn it and pay attention to it. It includes your ability to focus and deal with stress your state of mind, your emotional intelligence, etc. If you're stuck and unable to move forward, it is possible that your problem is not in the knowledge or in the technical execution, but in your inner game. Set goals, have a plan. This is the most useful way to move forward and not get lost. Think about your major life long-term goals and break them down into smaller ones that you can accomplish in a relatively short period of time. Break down smaller goals even further. You can set your weekly, your daily goals. This is an amazing way to make any task manageable, to track your progress, to be effective. This will help you to make sure that you know what you do and that you can do it. And know that you can. If you'll do anything for 10 years straight, there is no way in hell you won't become a master. Of course, obviously some level of brain usage is required. Understand that if you won't quit, success is inevitable. Don't let anybody to mess with your confidence or to tell you what you can do. There is a difference between intelligent course correcting and irrational fears and doubt. It's a cliche, but dude, you gotta believe in yourself. Once you've made a decision, don't doubt it. If failing is not an option for you and you will decide to win no matter what, you will. Well, I hope this video was useful to you. If you liked it and want to see more, subscribe to my channel and go to my website digitalmind.co. And until the next time, be awesome.